So we're expecting this polar vortex to bring in some, well, let's just say mighty cold weather. When we last used the trailer a couple weeks ago, I drained all the water lines. I mean, I dumped the tanks, um, the water heater, low points, all of that, and I've been running heat in the trailer. But I'm just starting to get a little nervous when we're talking temperatures in the single digits and possibly zero or down below zero. So I'm going to attempt to winterize my camper for the first time. <laughs> I've never winterized the uh, the Lance. Now, I already started a little bit, and then I remembered, hey, you ought to grab the camera. By the way, I'm filming this on our GoPro 9. I don't know how the audio is going to come out or the video, but I thought, you know what? We own it. I ought to try it. The only thing I ever use it for is time lapses, and surely there's got to be more uses for it than that. So let me go ahead and walk over here. I'll show you what I've done. I haven't really done much. Um, and you may not be able to see. So I had to take off this panel, four simple screws. That gets me into our water heater. This is our bathroom. By the way, it's nice and toasty in here. So that's a good sign. But on this Lance, it appears there's just, and, and again, the lighting, I apologize. I need a, a light out here. Where my finger is, there's a valve. I believe that's the bypass valve. Then I also found up top two valves that run to the outdoor shower. And based upon my friends, Jim and Abe, um, their trailer actually did freeze a few weeks ago when they were camping and they found out it was their outdoor shower Now ours is in a different location than theirs But um, they found out there were shutoff valves on it So you could actually shut the outdoor shower off and still run the rest of your water system Which would make sense because it is a four season trailer and you know, you're probably Not going to be doing an outdoor shower this time of year. So I've got some pink fluid here, so let's go inside, see if we can run some pink fluid through, really just out of an abundance of caution. So probably come next weekend when we do head out to go do some camping, um, I'll probably be like, why did I mess with this? But always better safe than sorry. Uh, one thing I did find out though, apparently this extreme cold weather, not good for batteries on keyless entry because that was a brand new battery and it is dead so we'll do this the old-fashioned way put a key in and uh, let's see here I think I, yeah there we go and you can see here I've got this um, this actual little electric space heater I run that as well as the furnace now the reason I have to run the furnace is if you want to keep water lines and, and stuff like that warm that furnace has ducts in this lance that go down there specifically for that so now the question is can i do this without putting the slide out now this is a true test of a slide out can you winterize without putting your slide out we're gonna find out so hey 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 look at that so right down here i believe is yep Look at there. That should be the hose. Well, maybe not. All right, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna get some more light in here. Okay. So here is this is this is down in the kitchen. You see my kitchen. Right here's our pump. They include the hose. This was in. Um, now, if you saw my Tab 400 video, you know I had to add this kit. This comes standard on the Lance. And then what I have to do is, oops, gonna turn this valve so that instead of sucking in water, it's going to now suck in through this hose and down through the pump and come up. So let's see if we can do this. It's a little tight. Probably if I would uh, put the slide out out. But you know what, with this ice, there's ice out there. I just don't want to mess with it. So, let's get us a jug. I've got more in the garage. Honestly, what I'd really like to do is pour this in a five gallon bucket. Well, we'll make it work. You go through these pretty quick and I don't want to lose prime on the pump, but. I'm sure my camera angles here are going to be bad, but 
So I want to get that all the way down in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you, if you're still watching, um, I'm not going to deal with that. So what I need to do now is I'm going to turn on the pump, which is right over here. And we know it's working because we've got pink. All right, so we got pink. It's flowing. Woohoo! So this is how you winterize a trailer. I cannot believe I used to pay an RV dealership years ago, like $60 or $65 to do this for us. So. If you're finding value in this video, we'd sure appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you know another RVer who might find it useful, we'd appreciate it if you'd share it out to them as well. So here we go. I'm gonna start with the cold here. A Little bit of water, pink. By the way, this is a good sign. If it wasn't flowing, we'd know something had frozen. But with the heat on here, I was really comfortable. And there's a little more water in there than I thought there would be. But we've got pink. All right, probably should let that drain. And it's draining, so that means we didn't freeze on the faucet. So, this is tight in here. Here we go, we're gonna go back here. We'll turn on some bathroom lights. Now, I'm not gonna worry about the outdoor shower. Normally I do the outdoor shower. I'm not gonna worry about it because I turned those shutoff valves off and honestly, if they were frozen, we'll deal with that later, but there we go. We got pink there, that's good. Got pink there, that's good, flowing good. Um, I still got it in my jug, here we go. to leave a little of this pink in here although again i'm gonna leave the heat on um, and if you're wondering like well why are you leaving the heat on if you're winterizing you can see my jug is about empty so let's get let's get you set up right over here we're gonna get another another jug it looks like we did lose i don't know probably lost prime i'm gonna shut the pump off a second i think that this pump is a really strong pump so i think i'm going to be okay that i lost prime there or lot or you know it ran out i ran that one right down okay so now we've got a new jug in there let's uh let's just pull this back so i can get through we're almost done oh. turn that pump on now we get into the shower and and I can't remember which way this goes all right and we got white but and there's pink and then we have a single lever shower which by the way we love a lot easier so I'm gonna go all the way up to get to the hot I'm really making a mess. Patty's gonna kill me. I should have, normally, normally I would set this down there. I'm gonna have to clean this up. If I don't clean this up, you don't wanna see that video. So, let's just double check. Cause that was where we ran out, but nope, we're good. We're good there. See how easy this is to winterize? And honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little... Actually, I'm not even going to worry about the traps because, again, we're going to keep the heat on for the lithium batteries. So, that's it. And I feel much better now because um, everything's flowing. And if anything had froze, it would not be flowing. So, yeah. Woohoo! I wasn't, again, wasn't worried because we got the heat underneath because we're running the furnace. It is currently... 
61 in here. So I'm probably burning through propane like nobody's business, but I don't want to take two lithium batteries out every other weekend because that's our goal is every other weekend, even though we didn't get to go out last weekend. Um, yeah, that is it. Now, you know what? Let's do this real quick. Let's go out. I've got, it looks like I've got enough left in there. I don't have a lot in there, but, and so this trailer takes a little bit more than the tab 400 did. Um, well, cause it's what, five feet longer. So there's more water systems lengthwise. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unbypass. Okay, let's see if anything flows here, hopefully. And you could see why this definitely could freeze you right on the exterior. Let's see here. Well, there's definitely water flowing. There's pink flowing. And then there's pink flowing there. Let's let it run, push through. Yeah, we're good. All right, now, oh, always shut these off. If you don't shut those off, see, then that gets caught. You could have a leak, a bad leak. So let me just, yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, just out of abundance of caution, is I'm going to go ahead and bypass those again. Because quite honestly, we're not going to be using this anytime soon, if ever. Um, probably won't. We were going to in the tab, so. All right, that's it. That, I'm just gonna, I tell you what, I'm just gonna leave this off because we want that heat all in here nice and happy. And, um, yeah, there's remnants of it. So there you go. That is how quickly I just ran pink fluid through our trailer. Now, if, if you were doing a complete winterization, like if I wasn't gonna use the trailer all winter, number one, I would have done this a long time ago. That way I wouldn't have, number two, I would have taken my batteries out, taken them inside for the winter. And um, number three, I would have poured a lot more pink into those traps, just so my traps don't freeze. And what number am I on? Four, I think, I don't know, I like numbers. Um, a one a tip, a two a tip, it's like the count. So, um, God, I lost it, number four. Oh, then we would have probably put, um, uh, dryer sheets all throughout the trailer just to help keep rodents out and usually I throw some bags of uh, mothballs under the trailer but again we bought a four season trailer so we can be out in this beautiful winter wonderland and go camping so that's why our winterization is just a little bit different than if we weren't going to use it during the winter so hopefully you find that helpful this is just a real short video until next time everybody we'll see you maybe in a couple weeks on down the road